All right, we're headed, <laughs> headed out to get stung by bees. Happy therapy. Decent location. But uh, this should be fucking interesting. So I've been keeping bees about 10 years and more and more as I work with them. I mean, from the very beginning, I felt like they're a more highly evolved creature than humans. Pollinators and honeybees, specifically the only creatures on the face of the earth and deriving their own sustenance, create abundance for other living things. So in the very act, so we have to kill things, whether animal or food. Uh, we have to kill things in order to, to keep eating and, and surviving. The honeybee, of being more highly evolved, is almost godlike in that in deriving their energy from the world, they create more food for others. Hmm. Seed, berry, flower, fruit, hmm. nut. Uh, so they are also like the original landscape architect because amongst the flowering plants, if the bee doesn't love it, it doesn't evolve and exist. Hmm. So there's this synchronicity between flowering plants and the bees to where if they nurture it and they love it, then we see more of it. Obviously you have your trees that are self-replicating, that that's not a feature, but there's this co-evolution of bees in the natural world uh, that we see of flowering plants. And so being attuned to that vibrational energy, one of the thrilling things about bee beekeeping is that you, you look at the world and you see the different uh, seasonality of different blooms and you, you kind of look at areas to where, oh wow, you know, there's, that's a great spot because the eucalyptus blooms November through January when there's not a lot of other nectar flow or nourishment for the bees. So I can't, completely changes the way that I drive around. It's like, oh my God, look at, the, look at the different flower and bloom and opportunity. What's nice about this spot is the tremendous amount of blackberry that's all along the creek. And bees really like to uh, take, they need like a gallon per hive per day. So they're taking in water. There's water carriers coming in too. And so they will take in the minerals. You might see them collecting water and mineral along the creek. But getting to where we're at, we're gonna take in um, some of the bee medicine I brought, some propolis and bee pollen. And I thought that we'd just take a little ceremonial taste of the rose-infused honey before yeah. we go over and take okay. in the most potent medicine, which is their venom. Mm -hmm. so. Let's roll with this. Huh? It's not a lionfish. Is are the tree resins that bees collect from various, uh, like flower resins and tree resin, and they combine it with a salivary enzyme to create their external immune system. So we, we they only have five genes that encode their internal expression. You know, humans have evolved to try to catch up with corona by evolving our T cell or lymphatic system or whatever it is that we defend ourselves by generating an internal immune response. Well, the bees are a super organism and they surround the whole colony with, with a propolis envelope. And so everybody just want to take a tincture. This is in a biodynamically farmed grape distillate and I need to dilute it with some water so it's pretty potent. No one touch your tongue, obviously, but that's the uh, the tree resins. It's proven antiviral, antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal. Mm -hmm. The next powerful Ooh. bee medicine, which is the pollen that they collect. So this what is does it feel a like? super, super it's not that bad. floral. Here, I'll put a little in your hand. You could. <laughs> How much do I take? It's like a superfood uh, full jar. Tincture. Just like that. Whoa. That's outrageous. Like that? What are they? This is the pollen that the bees collect. So in the process of collecting this highly protein-rich food. It's like, oh, man. It's so good. It's like potent. Mm. So this is what the bees feed their the larva before it, you know, before they seal off. So the queen lays eggs. The eggs 
emerge and become a larva like a little grub. Mm. The grub is fed by the nurse bees, the pollen and honey. Mm. And that that is a uh, super nutri it's a super food like yeah. it's a super food. Uh -huh. Super it's a super food. My brain feels it instantly. <laughs> like. Alex has the best so response. I have a number of spoons. So this is like my most popular thing right now. This is one of my buyers said it's like she has a fancy restaurant called the Pharmacy in Santa Rosa. Food is our medicine. Oh, that's cool. And it's all organic food. And she calls this ceremonial grade. So it's a it's a rose, a damask <laughs> rose infused <laughs> black sage honey. Black oh sage. Oh my god! Honey. I knew there was sage in it. Mm. <laughs> Do I eat all of this? Yep. Wow. It's smoky. Wow. That's good. That's unreal. Wow. Now what is that you're reading? Mm. What do you think? That's good. Uh, yeah. We were doing a ceremony. Pre-ceremony. This is so good. Wow. Oh, I like that. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I love it. That's really good. Oh my god. The pollen? Yeah, it is. Take it off. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I feel like a god right now. Yeah. See what yeah. you yeah. 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 <laughs> I do. So, you know, depending on the level of pain you've experienced, physical pain, it's a little bit like a splinter and then it fades away. You just have to keep in mind this is medicine. So I think what is kind of talking to, to Brett and, and him putting this group together last night is based on a couple months ago, the National Institute of Health published a paper uh, providing anecdotal evidence that the bee venom is a natural immunization against COVID. So uh, the lab, I mean, the science behind the potency of bee venom is that it's, it already has direct action against other forms of coronavirus, influenza A and influenza B. It, it attacks it and kills it. It's anti-cancer, but in Wuhan, the epicenter of the disease, 5,200 beekeepers, none of them developed symptoms. Apo apotherapists who were applying the bee venom to COVID infected people, none of them developed symptoms. So that's why I'm encouraging us all to get stung up as much as possible today. Uh, we're headed, <laughs> headed out to get stung by bees. Happy therapy, decent location. But uh, this should be fucking interesting. So we're gonna uh, try, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna scoop some bees into the, the jar. And, sure. Is it true once the stinger's gone and the bee dies? Yes, so there, there is, uh, it's an important to recognize that the, the individual bee is like, our body is constantly sloughing off cells. The, the, it's the whole organism that's the creature. It's a super organism. So the whole colony is the creature. The bees are like the individual cells. Gotcha, whoa. Good job, Bea. Have a good afterlife. Good job, Holly. Yeah, they see colors. It's like, it's a pulsing purplish white right in that shoulder. It's, it's finding some dark spaces. <laughs> Definitely bit more energy energy and vibration than anything. That's the same as Morgan. Uh, circulatory system's not affected, lymphatic system's not affected. That one's the same as Morgan. Respiratory system, nothing. It's vibrational. It's vibrational medicine. Beautiful. Yeah. I think it's here as long as we can't yeah. 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 
Yeah. It definitely comes in waves. Huh? Mm -hmm. You think, oh, it's kind of over, and the, the, the stinger continues to pulse yep. as long as you leave it in. Yep. Sometimes instinctually, oh, you just immediately try to brush it out. But this one does feel emphatic for me. Yeah. Yeah, it went straight up the neck, up, sternal kind of massoid, and then back down it, and back here, and it's like kind of circulating through in that pulsation. Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh! in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let up. It's pulsing so hard. Is it in there? It feels oh, like it there. is. It's in there, honey. It's, it feels like it. Like I am Christmas lit up like a Christmas tree. tree. Got it. Yes, there's a lot. Breathe, Alex. Uh, no, I, uh, I have a, uh, my son, so Noah, my daughter. Breathe. Breathe. She's fine. Mama. She's fine. Medicine will, medicine will talk to you. Breathe. I'll text you just soon. He'll activate it. So you have mine, and then you can let me know.